last night <coughs> near the Anderton boat lift. It's the 23rd of April. Nice bright day, no wind, no rain, but my word, it's still very, very chilly. Got a scarf on, feel really chilly. Uh, the Anderson boat lift put there to take boats down from Trenton Mersey Canal down to the River Weaver and then onwards to the Liverpool docks with their cargoes. A lot of the principal cargoes on this section of the canal would be salt. Massive great salt mining area this. And um, it caused subsidence just like the mining, coal mining industry. So you get lots of um, lakes, what they call flashes, and this is a result of uh, subsidence from the mining activities. There's a salt works near here called the Lion Salt Works, which is now a museum. And if you're ever in this part of the world, go and take a look. It's absolutely fascinating. I have no idea that salt mining is such a prevalent thing in this part of the world and also how it used to be done. Back breaking some of it in hot steamy conditions. No wonder they didn't live very long back in the day. Anyway, that's me waffling on. I'm going to stop for water in a minute. Just going past the Anderton Marina. How much is their diesel? They've got a price up. No, no price up. Well, I guess that's one way of filling up the water. Well, there's Mr. and Mrs. Swan. The father's patrolling and the mother's sitting quietly on the nest. A lovely wooded glen, lots of bluebells out. That's the way to do it. St George's flag and the Union Jack. taking a deposit on the boat that I'd come to see. And the crux of the story is they knew I was coming, I'd made an appointment. So I wasn't having money. And that's winch and boat sales. Trust them as far as I could throw. Yeah, Tom, I'll do you blacking for you. Three coats for the price of two. 
bargain. Some of it looks like Steptoe's yard. A lot of heavy industry as well. ICI at one time, take no potato I believe. It's like being on another planet. Uh, oh, that's not good. When we came past this last year, they were digging this out, and now it's been waterized and almost ready for action. Water 
I suspect it might be a flash, one of the uh, mining subsidence occurrences. Thank you. So, on the middle which stretch, there's three locks to do, and then we're going to hang a right onto the Wardle arm to work the Shropshire. I do believe across is some volunteers and we set up so I'm very very happy to keep pouring rain. I hate doing lots in the pouring rain, it makes everything so wet and slippery and increases the risk of trip and slip. So thank you volunteers. It's the home of Anderson Boats Hire. It's a very opulent house we have there. Well, for the first time in a long time, we're going into some locks that only had single gates. Quite like them actually. The boat doesn't swing about so much in the locks. The quicker to fill and empty. Good morning. You're a very welcome sight. Yeah. <laughs> Bit wet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame it doesn't actually work. It is, yeah. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. You're welcome. I'll give you a point work.
main effect in the clinic from the two ends. There's a side boss coming in from the left, it's probably going to blow me a bit up. There it is. sinking the boat in the very first lot they come to. And they, drop, they often go too fast. It's like an ocean liner, it won't stop on a sixpence, it takes a while to stop it. That well, was really nice. Straight up those three lots, no problem. Thank you. 